So being one of the last videos in the series, we're gonna have a look at some of the variations of things you can do with the pull-up. So at the beginning of the series, we were talking about grip and we've been doing our pull-ups in this position. So our hands facing this way the whole time. The reason being that this is a lot more functional than doing this way. And what I mean by that is within parkour and movement, you cannot grip walls or the tops of walls like that. Okay, you can only climb up onto walls and things this way. If you have a bar, then fine, you can do it this way, but getting your chest up is going to be hard doing it this way. It's much, much better to do it this way. This is going to be a lot more helpful. So as you can see here with the chin up, the hands are going to come in a lot closer this way. And you can see my elbows are tucked all the way in and it's going to be very difficult to using the lats to do the pull. You're going to find that the traps, the top part of your back up here and the short head of the bicep and the chest is going to do a lot more of the work. However, you're probably going to find that doing your chin ups this way, it's going to be a little bit easier. You're going to find that actually you're going to be able to pull a little bit more and things will tend to be slightly easier. So let's have a go with the chin up. So we're going to hang from here again, dead hang at the bottom, pull as high as we can and come back down. So now we've gone into the uh, chin ups and this is what we call a supinated grip. So supinated is this way, pronated is this way. Now, if we start thinking about what our hands are doing, we can actually start playing with different grips. Now, as you become more functional and being able to climb on things of different weird grips and whatnot, you can start looking for them. So in this position here, actually, instead of over here, we can put our hands one on here and what we could do is actually I could put one hand on here, okay? So this is going to be a completely different grip, but you might find within parkour there's a situation you're climbing up something and this is the only way that you can pull up. Now getting used to these different weird grips is really handy. Again, we said it in the assistance work, this is something that we can play with, you know, in our own time. So I'm going to grip here, grip here, and I'm going to hold, pull up, and down. Now another variation of pulling is kind of fun, a lot of people enjoy doing it and it's a little bit complicated technically to begin with. Getting your head around it is uh, a little bit frustrating sometimes but this is called the swing up and the idea is that we're actually, we're still going to require a little bit of a swing but a lot of momentum is going to be involved here and what we're going to do is actually come on the outside of the bar, okay? So you might not see my whole body movement above the bar, but the idea is that you're gonna grip and then you're gonna bring your knees up and then you're trying to get your waist to touch the bar and then you flip and swing all the way around, okay? So let's give this a go. Make sure that you come up. Um, around and down. So the swing ups can be very useful when it comes to uh, getting a little bit of pulling action involved and actually it's a lot more fun to get used to doing the swinging and having a bit of fun on the bar. Another favorite type of movement you can do that is going to focus more on hanging and a slight dead hang position but you're gonna be moving in that dead hang position. So the thing that it's called, it's got a very weird name, but it is called skin the cat. Now the idea with this is, again, you're gonna dead hang at the very bottom, and we're gonna bring our knees up, and the idea is it is gonna go through the gap between the bar and our body. Now, it's probably best that if you've never done this before, is to have somebody underneath you to be wary of whether you let go of the bar or not because you're going to you're going to be upside down. So from here you you hang you're going to bring up come through and down. So from this position you can now pull back 
and come back to the beginning. We talked about having different grips, so we were in the corner there, playing with how our hands are gonna be placed. But something else you can think about is what you're actually climbing on to. So walls, bars, these are the common things that we use to climb up on. But outside, you can climb on any type of weird overhang or tree branches or things like that that are just weird and have strange kind of configurations. And this is gonna make you super functional when it comes to having to need to climb on anything that you need to. I'm sure you've seen on YouTube and on the telly that there is also a lot of type of athletics and calisthenics on the bar. And especially with groups like bar stars and these kinds of guys that do a lot of different variations on the bar. Now again, this is stuff you can play with. There are things like L-sit positions and doing pull-ups in L-sit position where you're hanging, but your legs are out in front, or you can do archers, so you've got wide, wide grip, and you come up to one side, and then you go to the other, or you can go across, and lots of different variations. Now again, this is gonna help with utilizing lots of different muscle groups, and it means that, especially with assistance work, this is gonna help with that pull-up. Doing a little bit of research on YouTube and just doing some searching on pull-up work, calisthenics, and some different bar star groups, they are gonna give you a lot of variations when it comes to all these different types of pull-ups. And I recommend just going on there and having a look at some things that you can try. The final variation, and this is something that we haven't talked about very much, and it is probably the most important of all, and that is the muscle up. So the muscle up is the final variation, and the idea with the muscle up is that you are going to end up in this position. So you're gonna pull, 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 and continue up until you're on top of the bar. Now, this is far more advanced than a pull up or a chin up, and it is gonna require a lot of extra training because it requires a pushing action as well. And generally the middle section of the pull-up is transferring from the pull to the push. That's the hardest part. Now, the thing is about the muscle-up is it is super functional. It is something that is very, very handy because it allows you to get up onto things where you only need your arms. You don't need your legs or you don't need to use elbows or anything else. You can just pop up on top of something just by using your arms. Now, this is something you want to be thinking of as a potential goal for future stuff on top of the pulling but getting used to doing the strength training of the pull is very, very handy because it's gonna translate into the muscle up work later on. So there you have it, a load of variations, things that you can play around with, research into, and maybe add into your training. 